Okay, so 3D printer tuning. What are we tuning? Why are we tuning? Well, most of the time when people hear 3D printer, they think that you can just put a part in and press a button and your part comes out perfectly on the other end after a certain period of time. Unfortunately, this isn't really the case in the industry right now. Most machines, especially for advanced materials, require a little bit of extra attention and extra tuning to get the perfect part. Now, if you're printing in PLA, you bought a Prusa, Okay, most of the time your part's gonna be just fine. It's gonna come out without a hitch and it's gonna be beautiful. But when you move on from PLA to more advanced materials like ABS or nylon, especially getting into the peak and the PEI and the Ultims, these materials are a lot more finicky and they require a little bit more attention to get the perfect part. So we're just gonna go over the basics of tuning and the settings you need to look at most of the time when you're working on getting your part to the final result. There really are no universal settings. Everybody's gonna have a slightly different setting based on their machine or their part geometry or the material they're using. Even if they're both using PLA, depends what brand of PLA they got, how old that PLA is, does it have moisture in the spool. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different. Relatively in the same area, but it's gonna be different. Now, when you get into the extremely high performance thermoplastics, this gap increases. It's gonna be a lot different between person to person and part to part. So most of the time you're gonna start by tuning for the material. And then if you, sometimes you'll have parts that you need to change a little bit for those tunes, but most of the time you get the baseline in from the material and you're good to go after that. So what is tuning a material? Well, each material is gonna have a different melting point, a different bed adhesion temperature, uh, different bed adhesion requirements. Different materials can print at different speeds and still adhere layer by layer, but some you have to go a little bit slower to get that perfect layer adhesion. So we're gonna go over all this and we're gonna dive in and go over the basics right now. So in order to find the perfect settings for your printer and your material, we call this the tuning process. So there's really five steps to the tuning process. So step number one, you're gonna find a starting point. Now this is gonna be the basic settings like temperature, speed, and bed temperature, and this is gonna come from the material. It's, it'll be on the box somewhere, it's probably on the spool, and you can always find it on the manufacturer's website. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these settings into your slicer, and then you're gonna select a part. So step two is selecting your part. Now, we always recommend that you start with a calibration part. Now this is either gonna be a small cube or a string tower test, or maybe a torture test like overhangs and something like that. Something like that. Uh, but you're always gonna wanna start with a small part that you can print in 10 to 20 minutes and get the results so you can go back and change and quickly come back to improve it. Step three, once you've printed this calibration part, you're gonna examine the part. You're gonna look at things like, how's the layer adhesion? You could probably break the part just to make sure everything's fusing together really well. You're gonna look for gaps and holes or maybe blobs or zits. Uh, you know, the starting point might cause a bunch of little zits all over the part and you want to change that to line it up in a seam. There's going to be lots of little things going wrong with the print and there's plenty of online guides which are going to be linked somewhere around this video or you can check our website that goes over all these different symptoms and what the problem is and how to fix it. So step number four, you're going to adjust your settings based on the results from your previous print. Generally we like to make a big enough change to see if there's a major difference but usually it's gonna be a very small adjustment. Just go with your intuition based on the guides that you're following and print the part again to see how much it changed. But this is why it's so important to learn the tuning process and become familiar with the settings so that you see an issue and you can immediately know, I need to change this setting. So step number five is repeat the first four steps. You wanna go back, print the part with your adjustments, check the adjustments, print the part again, change the adjustments, print the part again, until you get to your perfect part. And usually you'll have to print it maybe a couple times depending on how complex it is. Uh, but this is just the process and you keep going through it until you get it right. So once you've done enough of these calibration parts, you'll pretty much have your printer and the settings for that material dialed in. And then you can go and you can print almost anything and most of the time it'll come out great. Occasionally you might need to go a little bit more complex for really complex geometries or different kinds of parts, but you'll have your baseline material settings tuned in for your material and your printer at your location. And that's where you wanna start. 
Now, keep in mind, if you change your material or you change the temperatures, or if now you're printing in a room with air conditioning versus the garage in the 80 degree weather in Arizona, things are gonna change a little bit, you'll have to retune. For example, we're here right next to the ocean in beautiful Costa Mesa, California, and that means there's a lot of humidity. So we have to dry our filaments every single day before every single print, and uh, it's just a little bit more challenging versus if we lived in Arizona where the climate's a lot drier, we might not have to do it as much. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe and tune in for more videos like this on tuning and machines and the 3D printing process and high performance thermoplastics. We're here to help. Reach out if you've got any questions, and we'll see you on the next video.